Again, I want to say a big thank you to uh, our many fine sponsors, Athletic Director Ed Rouse and the crew. And the ball is on the team. And Irvin Hernandez is ready to put it in the air. Back to receive it for the Gibbon Buffaloes. And they will stand at their 10-yard line, two men deep. See if they can get something going here with their speedsters. A good high kick backing up and taking the ball at the six-yard line will be Jesus Hernandez. He's up the left sideline to the 15 to 20. Breaks a tackle to the 25, and he'll be brought down at the 29 near the 30. In there on the tackle was Lucas Epperson. Lucas out to the right side. No one to the left. The ball is on the left hash near the Minden sideline. With Sean Hampton, the running back, just about one step behind the pistol quarterback to Matt Wiseman. They give it to Hampton. He'll cut counter left side, and he's going to get wrapped up and driven backwards by Eddie Gonzalez. We talk offense, offense, offense with these coaches, but Hampton and Gonzalez as defensive backs and linebackers are awesome as well. Again, that's the Montgomery, Jeff Montgomery being the offensive coordinator. Not a lot of changes there. Moving to the head coaching role. Wiseman, a little pitch play. Hampton tries to stretch to the right side. Gets one block. Makes a man miss. But here come the penalty flags as he turns the corner at the 30. That'll be given now backed up to their own 15 after a pair of penalties. Wiseman, pitch and go. Now rolls out. He wants to run the football. There's nowhere to go. He's thrown down from behind. Alex Banuelos was tracking him down. And when he went with the fake this is where they just keep it simple, hand it off up the middle, and then see what you can get and pump the ball. And that's exactly what they do. Hampton off of his right guard will sneak across the 10 and get out to about the 13, maybe the 14-yard line. Here's the snap. It is high. Not much of a rush. A low line drive kick. It bounces at the 42. Picked up there by Gonzalez. He's got room up the middle of the field. 40, 35. Nobody's touched him yet. 25. Just short of the 25-yard line. He'll be brought down by... Left Escondon out of the pistol, or excuse me, Gonzalez. They hand it to him. Hole up the right side. He's hit the secondary by Wiseman and dropped as he gets inside the 20 to the 16 yard line. They've got a lot of guys they can rotate in there, and Ryan Johnson checks in. Now back to a power eye formation with Lockhorn, the fullback. Heavy to the right side, first and 10 at the 16 yard line. They'll hand it off Gonzalez over right guard again. Follows his blockers inside the 10. The pile moves down to about the 8. 8.40 to go here in the first quarter. Out of the pistol again. Braden Barnes takes the snap, hands it to Gonzalez. Right off the top of his center, has the first down. They stack him up at the five-yard line, and that's where they'll blow the play down. Gonzalez. And Barnes is going to hand it off inside. They just try to push him into the end zone, and now they have to unstack to see if Gonzalez got in or not. And they say yes. Touchdown, Minden. There was a unique formation where the quarterback... Same play, hand it to the fullback, who was Gonzalez, and he is going to get close, and he is going to get in. So it's 8 to nothing, Minden. Just a 28-yard drive that took less than two minutes, and with 8.05 to go in the first quarter, Minden 8, and given nothing here on Power 99. As Hernandez boots it away here for Minden, this will be returnable, taken at the 13-yard line. And slowly trying to find the wall of blockers. 15-20. Hampton is going to be brought down near the 25-yard line. First and 10 given. And they'll give it straight up the middle to Hampton. And he's going to run right into the big man, Alex Banuelos, who has been there early. Wiseman calls the cadence. Wants to throw. Looking to go deep down the right sideline. And Gonzalez in contact and incomplete. Motion man Escondon, he'll take it to the short side, follows a block, steps out of one down the sideline across the... They'd like to shake that off their back here tonight. Escondon in motion from left to right. They take the jet sweep up the middle. Hampton breaks the first tackle, gets to the 40, keeps the legs churning, gets across the 41 and close to the 42-yard line. No change in the play. They just line it up again. Here comes the blitz up the middle. Pitch play right side. Hampton gets a block, slides past one man, but all he can do is get back to the line of scrimmage. Third down and 10 here. Back to pass, Wiseman. Little hitch and go, and he is going to be hammered. He's going to lose the football, but it is covered back up by Gibbon, and in there to strip it was Alex Banuelo. Tide takes his time, a little pooch kick down the middle. Tried to keep it out of Gonzalez's hands, and he gets a nice roll. He has to let it go in. With the quarterback Bates in the shotgun, a little uh, stop out here. Complete into the hands of Ryan Johnson for a short game. Gets across the 20 to about the 20. 
and all by himself to the short side. looks like hunter heath pump and go across the middle of the field. wide open. it's going to be complete into the hands of creed ehlers across the thirty out to the thirty three yard line. that's a gain of eleven more. it will be third down now at about five and a half, maybe six yards. thirty three. they need to get to it. thirty eight, maybe the thirty eight half and a half yard line. caden lands puts out wide right. slot right is going to be ehlers. a little more power formation with the fullback lockhorn. Under center, Bates turns, hands it to Gonzalez. He is hit in the backfield, but scrambles forward very Ball close to the first down. Ball. Carlos Tamayo in on the tackle. Instead, Minden comes through. That 11-yard completion, the big play there to Ehlers. They'll send in motion from left to right. Caden Land trips that way, rolling that way. Bates looking underneath. The pass can be picked off. Trying to get it into the hands of Ryan Johnson. And stepping in front is Abel Avila. The junior here to give a little more protection for this young football team. Pitch to Hampton, trying to get outside, right side, finds a little bit of a hole, but just as he turns it up, Creed Ehlers is in there to tackle him. From five yards out, 12-7, Grand Island leading Carney. Hand off Hampton, and he can't follow his blocker. Kyle Nate got double teamed that time, got shoved back. After the interception by Avila. Can they get a first down mustard here? Back to pass, Wiseman, third down, swing pass, pick six. I mean, it's right into the hands of Gage Freeze and an easy 54-yard interception return for a touchdown. Sometimes the play-by-play man can just... 14 to nothing as Minden did convert the two-pointer on their first touchdown. Bates is the holder. Good snap. Placement's down. The kick is away. It's pounded. And it is good. So with 56 seconds remaining here in the first quarter of play, it is now Minden, 15, and given nothing on Power 99. First quarter. Back at the County Towing Repair broadcast booth where Minden is on top, 15 to nothing. A 54-yard interception returned by Gage Freeze. Your five points bank touchdown. Five points bank, the better bank. Dan Gibbon set to return the football here with 56 seconds to go in the first quarter. Hernandez, this one doesn't have much on it. Gibbon decides to let it bounce. Somebody better cover it. It's on the 25. It's still loose, and finally... Jumping on, goes down the right side, and he's looking for his slot man, Danny Eskendon. And it is going to fall incomplete, trying to get it down the field to Eskendon. Get a big yardage to play, and then they might just run a little hook, get something underneath. Second down and 10. A little stunning, and they'll pitch it out here to Hampton. They've been running everything to the right so far. Hampton all the way to the corner, turns it up across the 25 to about the 27-yard line. The 27-yard line, given down 15 to nothing. Wiseman takes the snap, rolls to his right, throws underneath, and it is going to be tipped and then knocked out of the hands of the intended receiver, trying to get it to Tamayo, and Eddie Gonzalez punched at it twice. 308, 646, 0506. Given first down, Wiseman wants to throw out into the flat. It's picked off again, and this time by the lineman of Jaron Brown. That was more of a miscommunication. To him up the middle, has a little hole to the 25, slides through to the 23, down to the 22, upended there by Davis and company. We're going to go with a different look this time, and Gonzalez with the handoff, Bates under center, gives it to him, he crashes forward for the first down, short yardage set, he's going to pick up three. Power look this time, Lockhorn is in as the fullback, give it to Gonzalez, right up the middle, 15 to the 10, and he's got the first down again. Roll him up at the eight-yard line. First and goal, Whippets. They will send Hunter Heath wide left, but they're keeping it on the ground right up the middle as Gonzalez follows his block inside the five, down to the three. Maybe even the two is down for his second touchdown of the night. Give credit to the big boys up front. Lukies, Cook, Brown, Banuelos, Hernandez get the job done. They bunch him in there. That single wing, give it to Gonzalez. This time, Gibbons going to stand him up, not let him get by Hernandez. Snap, good, placement good. The kick has plenty of leg on it, and it is good. So a 24-yard field goal by Irvin Hernandez makes the score. Minden 18 and given nothing. 8.29 to go here in the second quarter. Pioneer Brand Soybeans with Impact Partners and Pioneer Seed Science with Service delivering success. And Minden ready to boot it away here. The ball taken back at the eight-yard line. And up the field to the right side is going to be Hampton, 20-25. Runs a man over to the 30, to the 31-yard line. 
to the left side here. Wiseman takes the snap, gives it to Hampton. Hampton starts right, comes back left, and there's just too much push on the line right now. And given Hampton, well, four down lineman. A 4-3 front here for Minden. Fake the counter, rolling right here some time. Throw it underneath. It's completed to the hands of Kuchera for a short gain, and then stacked up by Gonzalez at the 34-yard line. It's Hampton, he's right behind him. Out of that pistol formation, they'll fake it to Hampton. Wiseman wants to keep it off the left side, and he is going to get three or four, but as he lowers Wiseman his shoulder, he run. runs into the third and eight Minden. They'll bunch right side, send land in motion. Bates rolls that way with three receivers to choose from. Goes deep down the right sideline. He's got land. He's got a completion at the 20. The 15, the 10, five touchdown. Caden Land. A 58-yarder. They hustle up to the line of scrimmage. Gonzalez is actually the short back here. They give it to Eddie, follows him off the right guard, and Eddie's in for the two-point conversion. So the penalty cost given two points. 6 to nothing with 4.41 to go here in the first half. Escondon in motion from right to left. Fake the handoff. Look back to the tight end. It's going to be complete underneath to Jacob Kuchera. Steps across the 40 out to about the 42-yard line. Wiseman out of the pistol. Hampton, oh, he went to the wrong side. Wiseman handed it to the right. Hampton went to the left. Wiseman's able to fall forward and actually at least pick up a year and a half to go. In the second quarter, Twins left. Wiseman gives it to Hampton, and they rush him hard, but Hampton bounces off, finds a way to get to the 45-yard line, but maybe just short. The ball came loose, and it's going to be Minden football. First down and 10. Already up 26-0. Hand it off to Gonzalez. Gonzalez comes right into the middle of the line and picks up about a yard. Gonzalez. A yarder from Bates to land on their last possession. Lockhorn, they finally hand him the football. The fullback is going to be met immediately by Dylan Davis after a game. On the, time on the turnover. Bates, directional kick, a very high kick, beautiful kick. Running under it and taking it at the 16-yard line. Dropped it, fumbled, Minden covers. Here a different formation, trying to hand it off on a jet sweep. The ball bounces around, but back right up into the hands of Creed Ehlers, and he'll turn it up the field, and then we get maybe a late hit. First and goal from the given seven. Tight eye formation, they give it to Gonzalez. Starts left, cuts back right, runs into Onade and company, and he'll get to the four. Bates comes up under center, turns, hands it off Gonzalez right side, and Gibbon has him. He's going to pick up a half a yard, and now Minden's going to have to call a timeout. With with Lockhorn, the deep back. Gonzalez is a blocking back. They'll roll right, throw to the tight end of the end zone. Caught, touchdown, Ryan Johnson. A three-yard touchdown pass from Urban Hernandez to kick it. Now we're in danger of the running clock as the kick is on the way, and the kick is good. Kickoff here for Urban Hernandez, and Minden will get the ball to start the third quarter of play. Hernandez, no squib kick, pounds it as far as he can. It's taken at the eight-yard line by Escadon. Goes from the right hash to the left from the 15 to the 20. Tries to cut back, runs into some purple jerseys at the 25. A penalty flag comes down. The clock runs out. Now Wiseman in the shotgun. That's what he does. Hampton up the middle, 45. Trying to break free, but not going to get much more than that as he's wrapped up by Brown. Checking with his line, now ready to go. And Avila puts a foot into it. No squib or anything. He'll boot it deep. Picked up by Land at the 11-yard line on the right. Hash goes up the right side, 15-20. And a good open field tackle by Gibbons. Roman Colbert, the freshman, comes in and makes the tackle. Twins to the left. Gonzalez in the backfield. Offset eye on the fullback. Lock one. Boogered up his knee a little bit in the first half. Pitch play that way. Gonzalez bobbles it, regains it. Now has to change directions. Good stiff arm and look out. There's a block by the quarterback, Bates. 30, 35, right sideline. Pushed out of bounds across the 40 at the 45-yard line. By again. Taylor's to the short side. Gonzalez again. He'll try his hand off the uh, right hash on right tackle, but right there to make the tackle is Dylan Davis. Twins to the left. Now they go with twins in the backfield, running backs to the each side of the wing that time of Bates, who wants to drop back and pass, he'll throw it underneath for Heath, Heath comes back and grabs it, breaks a tackle at the 50, down the left sideline, 45-40, gets another tackle, but he breaks There's a different look in the backfield, this time it's just Gonzalez, they'll hand it to him from Bates, right over the top of his right guard, he's stacked up as he gets to the given 35-yard line, it'll be a gain of right here. 
They stack a bubble trips to the right side here and then move a man in motion to give it to Ehlers on the jet sweep, trying to find a block, gets one, runs over a man, but who also makes the tackle out here is Tamayo at the 30-yard line. A gain of five on the play, the second carry of the night for Creed Ehlers. It'll bring up third down and about two and a half yards to go. So again, given his contain by Family Physical Therapy and Sports Center, as they try to hand it off here to Gonzalez, a little exchange trouble, but Gonzalez is able to get it and has just enough for the first down. He'll pick up four, and that should get him to an even 100 yards on the evening. As Bindon on the opening drive of the third quarter continues to move the chains. They come over and get the play, and it'll be second down and 10 yards to go. Ball at the 30, 25-yard line of Gibbon. Twins to the short side right, back in an I formation. They'll turn and hand to Gonzalez, follows his full back, keeps his legs turning to get four, maybe five. How about more? Six, seven. And all pile just kind of pushed Gonzalez forward, and they'll mark him down. Well, he didn't make it that way. Full back. They'll send the full back into the hole off the guard one way, and Gonzalez will go the other way. Gonzalez now flanking Bates to his right side. Twins left, land to the right, and they'll give it to him in a blitz. Oh, my goodness. First time Hampton just jumped the count. Gonzalez didn't even take a step. That's the first time all night that we have seen a negative play here for a minute outside of the time they snapped it over the quarterback's head. Looks Quads, trips to the left, land to the right, man-on-man pressure. They're going to blitz up the middle, looking for the slot left. Picked off. It's picked off at the 15, to the 20, to the 25. And the tackle is going to be made by Johnson as he gets to the 26-yard line in the, second, in the second half. Maybe any adjustments as they spread the field. Just give it to Hampton right up the middle. Runs over a man, but the same man that he ran over slid down the leg and held on to the ankle. And the tackle made by Lutkes. Lutkes makes the tackle, but he took the brunt of the Sean Hampton uh, train coming up the middle. Got about three and a half yards. Now take the lead back from Grand Island, 17 to 12. Hand off Hampton, hole over the left side, closes quickly as Banuelos comes in there with Brown and company to upend him. He'll make it out to the 30-yard line. Seven from their own 30. Trips to the left. They'll turn, give it to Hampton. He's hit in the backfield. They weren't fooled at all. Coming through to make the tackle for Minden. I believe that's Brown, or excuse me, Cook. And we've got an injured football player, maybe a cramp. Back in, put it away. Snap is high, but not over his head. Not much of a rush. Low soccer tile kick, bounces at the 50. Gonzalez has to forfeit win over Elba. We'll look at some other scores in a minute. Bates fakes the handoff and keeps it himself. That's the first time he's carried the football all night long. Comes straight up the middle across the 35 for a game. Minden, that's where we've been since halftime. Arson is in the pistol formation. He's going to fake the handoff, keep it himself up the middle, bounces off at the five to the two, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, the freshman has his first varsity touchdown for the Minden Whippers. Parson is now the holder. Bates cramped up there, keeping him out. High snap, he gets it down. The kick is away, and it's good. What a great job there by Carter Harson. They had a bad snap earlier, and the kick was no good, but there was a penalty, so they got to redo it. This time, Parson gets it. From nine yards out, it's Carney 31, Grand Island 18 in the fourth. Squib kick here is going to be picked up by uh, Jesus Hernandez. He'll be up to the 25, the 30, get across the 30, and get down to the 35-yard line. And now we see a bunch of fresh jerseys coming with under a minute to go. And Wiseman stays in there, turns and hands it off to his eye back, who is still Hampton, I believe, 35-40 against the second-team defense. Wins to the left. Single wide out to the right side, low snap, and all he can do is fall on it. Coming through to make the uh, defensive play is going to be Nolan Reed.